Okay, so here we are with um, uh, day three, week two, so the last one of week two. Um, so as you can see, when I started the session uh, with a bit of ankle sort of stretching work. So just trying to improve my dorsiflexion just to help. Um, it's gotten pretty stiff recently. Uh, just from the summer, I was doing a lot of running. Um, and so my ankle, I didn't really look after my ankles and calves that much. So um, yeah, they got pretty stiff. So just working on a few little drills there. So I did it twice in the session, once at the very start, doing uh, incrementally heavier for five reps with four 15 second holds, so each rep getting heavier and heavier. It's a nice little protocol from Charles Poliquin. Um, and then uh, to help with ankle range of motion. Then got into some front squats. I managed to get up to 145 today. Uh, last week I only got up to 130. So again, my body's just charging up really. I can feel it each week, just getting a bit strong. You know, even from last week, it just felt better, smoother. My body's like, oh yeah, front squats again. And so it's just it's charging up. Um, I managed to keep over, the, I was using the push. Uh, kept over a set of limit of 0.49, again recommended by Kabuki Strength. Um, and that was but bang on. You know, 145 I slipped under on the last rep. So that was just, you know, I went to 1 point, 0.47. So it was bang on where I wanted to be. Uh, the RPE was meant to be a 7.5 out of 10, um, which is about right. Got in some clean, uh, clean and power jerks. Terrible today. I felt really bad, felt slow, felt heavy. I only really went up to about 110. Um, my legs were feeling pretty knackered. Uh, and I did loads of warm up sets. I warmed up for like half an hour, 35 minutes, and I still felt pretty crap. So I just left it at 110 today. Um, as well, the night before my sleep wasn't great. Um, I only got an hour, I tracked my sleep every day, and I got about an hour and a half, just under an hour and 20 minutes of deep sleep. And I kind of know now, like, if I want to feel good, I need to get, you know, about two and a half hours of deep sleep. So I was an hour short of deep sleep. Um, and I really felt it yesterday. I felt pretty groggy. So uh, we'll have to really work on my sleep and make sure I'm getting at least sort of seven and a half hours. Because when I get seven and a half hours, I normally get about two and a half hours of deep sleep. Which is good. Um, so again, here's just some more. It just felt just not great. Front squats felt good. So my strength stuff's good, but I just, my, any of the sort of, my sharpness, and like again yesterday, my cleans didn't feel good. But I've started doing in the mornings, I'm just doing, working on my weaknesses, so my upper back. So my upper back's feeling pretty fatigued, so I think that's why, again, like cleans were suffering a bit, because I've been nailing my upper back a little bit to my shoulders. But again, in the long term, it'll be worth it. Because right now, I'm just suffering a bit, because I'm really working on my muscles around my shins and my ankles. Um, and my, around, my, around my shoulders as well, my upper back. So this went into some uh, horizontal pulling work, so low rows. So last week I was struggling to get eight, this week I got four sets of 12 out. So again, you can see just my body is just, just waking up. It's in the process of just waking up again. Um, then got into some back extensions. I did some Bulgarian split squats, I forgot to record them. Uh, so I did about 10 reps on each leg. Um, and got up to about 22 kilos in each hand with the uh, back grips on as well. So that was good. Last week only got up to 16. So again, yeah, it's, it's big progressions, but it's not, it's not stuff, you know, stuff I've done before. It's just my body is just waking up. And then in with some back extensions, just really working on posteriorly tilting my pelvis as I'm extending, which is a thing that a lot of people don't do. Um, holding the plate at the chest. Again, I just try not to use my back too much and use my glutes and hamstrings and abdominals. Um, and then, so I did 12 reps, holding for 12 seconds and holding 15 seconds at, at the very, on the, la on the last Work. rep. And then finished off with just a bit of stretching. So we just did weighted stretching this time again, the same thing, but now holding for up to a minute, uh, sorry, 90 seconds. So I did three sets of 90 seconds on, 90 seconds off. Uh, if I could complete the 90 seconds, I added weight. Um, so I managed to get up to about 70 kilos by the end, and that was pretty, that was painful by the end. Uh, so just loading through there, you can see how much dorsiflexion it helps produce. Uh, just my tendons just feel really stiff, um, and the fascia around my ankles. So I'm hoping after a couple of weeks, months of this, um, it will help. Um, Coach Papayats, uh, he recommended this stretch. 
uh, to help with. You see a lot of the Chinese lifters doing it, and he was saying, you know, the bent this version you will just hit the soleus a little bit more and the your toe um, flexes. So um, I'm just trying this out. So doing long stretches. So doing gradually, incrementally heavier um, reps at the beginning of the workout. Trying to go as heavy as I can for 15 seconds, and at the end of the session trying to hold up to nine seconds and more longer stretches um, and see how we get along with this really um, but it, it really depends um, I'm doing a lot of stuff for my ankles my ankles are pretty crap so um, we'll see how we get along over the next sort of you know three to six months cool.